just got to be careful when you do it. It's not as close to being as dangerous as people think. And they said they actually done a, I don't know, it was a survey, a test, or how they came up with this, but they said it's safer to split lanes than it is to be in traffic, so you won't get rear-ended. I don't know how they would come up with that unless they're talking to people that got rear-ended because if nobody had gotten rear-ended, how would they know? But for me, I'd rather take the chance of splitting and using all my skills to weave between the traffic than to sit in the traffic and that chain reaction come or that driver not paying attention when traffic came to a stop and rear-end me and possibly kill me. A lane splitting in California. Uh, contrary to what people believe, it's actually safer when two cars are next to each other because neither one of them could go anywhere. Herein lies the problem when some people don't want to get over. This car from Colorado, and I guess he's not used to it, so he's not getting over. And I ain't playing with this big rig truck right here. Look at my slow riding, not put my foot down. There we go, I can get over right here. And look like we're going to be rolling down here because it is, look like traffic for miles. So, you know, you don't want to get stuck in it. And this is the perfect time to do it because there's no real openings for cars to dart into. And, and some people are afraid of it. There's an opening in front of this truck, so I got to make sure nothing not coming, nothing not coming. I got to take that. I get my high beams on. You know, people are always saying, well, that's the time that you should have loud pipes. It's not going to help. Everybody got their window up. And this car not getting over, so I'm gonna, not going to chance that one. What the hell is that? I guess I didn't have my, <laughs> my CB off. I thought I turned it off. Somebody... <laughs> Somebody letting their kid or they playing a sound of a kid crying stuck in traffic. <laughs> you heard it, baby? You didn't hear that noise? I had it. It was super loud. Because you asked if I turned my CB off, and I said yes, because I wasn't want to listen to the truckers anymore. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming through. They got people up here weaving back and forth. There's a white car that done it twice. Look like an SUV, so watch your P's and Q's when you come up here. And this where your front flashes help. Well, I can't go nowhere now because that car don't want to move over. And look at all this room we have. Look how far that car where they went over. That's what I'm talking about. See, in California, they're used to it. And when traffic is bumper to bumper, that's the best time. Not when it's rolling 90 miles an hour. <laughs> the best time because cars cannot switch lanes. And when they see you coming, here in California, they move over. I know there's supposed to be someone, another state that actually just legalize it, kick you on. Oh, she told me. She's trying to get on because I remember she told me one state had just legalized lane splitting. And with that, I don't know if I would split lanes in that particular state until they have been doing it for years to drivers are used to motorcycles coming down the lane. So right now I'm in the lead. Kid got second and she told me another bike behind her. I don't know what type of bike it is. What type of bike that's back there? Can you see it? How? How far back? Right on you? Cool. And look at this. We can, we can actually drive a small car down the room that they're giving us. And this is beautiful. So we don't have to get stuck in traffic. Worry about getting rear-ended. Nothing like that. And you know, when cars get all the way over, we wave them, we thank them. It makes a good impression on motorcycles when a car get over. And we thank them with our left hand. Now, for the most part, 
I still ride my rear brake without pressing it, or I should say cover the rear brake, and then we switch it in when we need to. If traffic picks up, depending on how fast traffic is going and how hot it is out there, then we just stop splitting lanes and go with the flow of traffic, even at somewhere around 30 miles an hour. And right now, believe it or not, look like we're doing 45. You going around? Okay. Oh, that was the BMW we saw earlier. Now, see what he's doing now. If you see that BMW, that is dangerous because the best spot to split lane, and then he's going real fast. He's going to look like 60 miles an hour. The best spot to split lane between the number one and number two lanes. And people actually get over. Actually, they're getting over so far because he's ahead of us. We got us a, a nice, big, a big run to go, and they used to it in California. And if there's a gap in between, that kind of makes it easy. But when traffic is almost at a standstill, standstill and there's a crawl, and there's a gap in between, that's the most dangerous time because there's a vehicle on the opposite lane, let's say in lane number three, trying to squeeze in that spot the same time you're passing or trying to squeeze it and they may not see you. That's all I got to say about lane splitting. Think that was a mouthful?